Hello YouTube. Today we're doing a review of Harbor Freight's boxwood stove. Um, it's more of an overview than a review. Um, pretty much because I have no basis for comparison. This is the only wood stove I've ever owned or used. Uh, it eats wood like mad. As you saw, it's wood around here. This will probably last me about a 12 hour period or so. If I'm lucky. But it does a job. It works. Let's take a look at what's cooking on the inside here. I don't have the grate in it that's designed for this model. This one's uh, actually from Menards. I cut it down to actually fit in here. Puts off a pretty good amount of heat. There's your intake adjustment. I got mine ran pretty uh, awfully. This runs out the window here. This is in the back room of my house. I just got to set up to supplement my uh, regular furnace. It works pretty well and really cuts down on my heat bill. For mainly, uh, mainly for cold days like today, it's about eight or nine degrees out. Got a little thermostat on the back. Yeah, I know this ain't mounted correctly. It originally came with a wire that went around the pipe and then uh, it fell off, so I just set it there. But it gives me a general idea of what's going on. So it's a little under 400 degrees there. And let's see what's going on outside. Pipe just comes outside. Goes straight up. Yeah, it looks like a fire hazard, but uh, I've been running this for about three years now, and this is the last year I'm probably going to do it. It's a lot of work, a lot of manual labor. Overall, I've been happy with the stove in the few years that I've owned it, but uh, like I said, I don't have much basis for comparison. It's not sealed. If you look at similar models, even by the same manufacturer, it'll have a seal around the door, and it'll have a seal around the top here. Uh, this one doesn't have any of that. So, from what I understand, other models are much, much more efficient, but it is what it is. All right, any questions or comments, just leave me a, just leave them.